Hi you guys, Taylor Rose here, and this week we're going to be reacting to Sabrina Carpenter's new music video for Please, Please, Please. No, please, can I have that though? I'm very excited because this music video is literally dominating the internet right now, and I do love me some Sabrina Carpenter. I did react to one of her music videos quite a bit ago uh, for Feather, so if you guys haven't seen that video, be sure to watch it by clicking on the card in the top right corner. Now before I get into all of this, I would also like to take the time to thank all of you guys so much for supporting me on social media and as well as on YouTube. And if you guys haven't yet, be sure to like, comment, share this video with your friends, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, before we get into the goods, let's discuss who made the goods. Now, before Sabrina Carpenter was into music, she was actually more into film. Now, she had a few little appearances in uh, quite other big shows, such as like Law and & Order. However, she got her big break when she got one of the lead roles in a Disney Channel show called Girl Meets World. I'm gonna be honest, I've never even heard of it. And it kind of makes sense though, because it came out in 2014, and when I was watching Disney Channel, there were a lot of different shows available. I was watching Recess, Kim Possible, The Proud Family, even Stevens. Heck, I was watching Hannah Montana, and my name is Tana. Oh, and let's not forget my favorite of all time, That's So Raven. I don't think Disney will ever get a show as good as that. But yeah, by the time I was basically done with Disney Channel, Girl Meets World came out. So my apologies for not being aware of that show. However, around that same time that she was in that show, she also signed a record deal with Hollywood Records and released her debut single, Can't Blame a Girl for Trying. After that, she's released a lot more music, of course, since then. However, I have noticed that she has become very, very popular in the past, like, I'd say three to four years. I mean, I think everybody has been singing Expresso for months now. Now, one more thing I did really want to mention is, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but Please 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 is the most trending music video on YouTube right now. This girl beat out Ariana Grande. But of course, one last thing before I really dive into this, we are going to play a quick little game that I like to call. Guess the plot. So I am going to watch like literally two seconds of this and try and guess the whole plot with that two seconds. It's not gonna go well. However, let's give it a whirl. Here we go. Okay, okay, we actually have something to work with. Clearly, it's gonna take place in a prison. Now, what exactly is taking place in the prison? So this could be a lot of things. This could be Sabrina Carpenter in prison, which actually would be quite funny if she was continuing the plot of the Expresso music video because she literally got arrested by the end of it. Now that would be something. However, I don't think she's ever continued the plot of any of her music videos, so I'm just gonna veto that one. However, seeing Sabrina Carpenter kind of pull like a espresso feather-like vibe in a prison, that would be very, very, very iconic. Either that or maybe she's escaping from prison or maybe she's just leaving prison. That'd be something. Okay, well, I've got quite a few guesses here, but whatever it is, Sabrina Carpenter is now encountering prison. <laughs> and let's just see how she takes it. Here we go. So she is in jail. Oh no, what'd you do? Somebody bailed your ass out. Oh! Let's go. Good for, oh, she looks so Come good. Home to your left. Look at that dress. I said to your left. <laughs> Ma'am, are these your belongings? That's it? That's all you got? All right. Please, once you've confirmed, you'll follow officers in alley through the exit ramp. <laughs> She's putting on her Mary, lipstick. Man, this is not a beauty character. I'm going to be. <laughs> this is exactly actually what I thought it would be like. Clearly, it's Sabrina Carpenter in prison. Of course, she's going to do her makeup in there. I love how she uses the window as like a mirror. But I kind of really love this take because as you can see, she does not belong in there. Clearly, like she is just this ditzy little like bubbly, cute, like but slightly sexy personality. And... She has no idea what she's doing in here. Uh, all right, well, let's continue and see where this is going. Which 
What's he looking at? Wait, is that? That please, please. That's the kid from Saltburn. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That is Barry Keoghan. Oh! Sabrina, you are a genius for bringing this boy into your music video. You are a genius. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to take notes here. It's kind of both of the things I said. She's also in prison, she just got out, and now she's falling in love with someone who's just coming in. Okay, let's see where this goes. Please, please, don't prove I'm right. Oh, he likes her. Oh, title card. Oh, she's visiting him now. Mama, she's in love with a criminal. Oh my God, you see the SC on her finger? Oh, and he's out now. I know I have good judgment. I know I have good taste. It's funny yeah, and it's clearly ironic, he's a good that guy. That only I feel that so way. Yeah, I promise them that you're different. And everyone makes mistakes, but just I mean, you would have you made a very big mistake going to prison. So. I heard that you're an actor. So you don't act say. like a stand-up guy. Whatever devil's inside you. Don't Where's let him out from? tonight. I tell them it's just your culture. And everyone rolls their eyes. Uh, yeah. What? I know. Oh, what? I'm asking, baby. Please. Well, that's not sketchy. The second he gets out of jail, he takes her to like some sort of mafia gang thing. Like what is, what? Like this looks like something out of The Sopranos. Who knew that at every freaking Denny's restaurant, we'd get a gang in the back freezer. I just wanted pancakes. Well, the more you know. And why would he bring her? Like, why would you bring her? Like, why? what is she gonna do? I mean, clearly she probably punched a bouncer at a nightclub, which is why she got arrested. But clearly she wasn't doing gang related stuff. Oh my God. I feel like this is also something you don't just like bring them to without telling them any knowledge. And why out of all places is it in the freezer? You don't have some other back room. Isn't it cold in there? Clearly I am questioning the logic of everything. So we're just going to continue. And it kind of looks like Barry's about to beat up all of them in the freezer. So let's find out, shall we? Please, please, oh, they're beating, please, oh no, wait. Don't oh no, he's, right. oh, he, he is beating them up. Please, wow, all by please, himself. Please, don't bring me tears when That's also something I feel like I would speak to my girl about, you know, slightly beforehand, you know? I'm so excited to go on this date with you. Um, can I put my bag in the trunk? Yeah, sure, no, whatever, do what you want. Okay, well, I'm just gonna open oh, the but, trunk uh, here. Just don't open Who is that? Yeah, that's Bob. He, uh, he couldn't pay his rent in time. Oh. Oh. Like, she seems so nonchalant. And what's so funny is she, like, shuts the trunk as if she's, like, an annoyed mother and is <laughs> disciplining her son. Like, come on, Barry. Get it together. Be more organized. You couldn't think to lay a tarp down before you put the body in there? Please, please, please. Okay, anyway, continue. Oh, she's like, I'm so done with you. My dear babe, maybe just stay inside. I know oh, you're craving no. some fresh air, but the ceiling oh, fan is so nice. And we could live so happily. The no things that you're with me, I'm just kidding. But really, kinda. really. Out of jail. 
left her kiss mark on the tape. Wait, so now what's she gonna- Oh! So she left him there? I want more Sabrina Carpenter and Barry. Alright guys, now let's break down every single aspect in this entire project. So when it comes to the music, this sounds exactly like something Sabrina Carpenter would do. It's very cute, it's very bubbly, very uplifting. And I also love how she sings about very serious things, like such as breakups, um, really bad toxic loves, stuff like that, but she makes it all cute and cuddly. And that is pure Sabrina Carpenter right there. I think that's what really makes her so marketable and relatable to people because she just takes these truthful situations and turns it into irony in a way. I really, 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 really love the lyrics of this. It really shows a very specific situation that unfortunately quite a bit of people get into where you get into a relationship with somebody and you think that they're so, so, so great. Turns out they're the complete opposite. They are your worst nightmare. However, you are still so entranced by them and so in love that you refuse to accept that as the reality and you really don't want them to prove you right, that they actually are a really bad person. I really do think that this music video ties in very well to the lyrics. As you can see, she truly thought her very wary was a great guy. And turns out he just likes to beat up gang members in freezers as well as rob banks and a lot of other bad stuff probably. <laughs> All right, now let's get into the cinematography, VFX, and lighting itself. This is phenomenally shot. I think this was beautiful, and I love how it had like a certain color to it. It had a lot of blue and white tones, but what's really great is Sabrina's costumes really brought the color, and I really do think that that was purposeful, because as you can see, Barry, her wonderful boyfriend, was not blending in with her color, he was more blending in with the cold blue neutral tones of the music video, clearly showing that he's just as dark as everything that was around him. Now, like I said, Sabrina really brought the color in with her fashion. I really love the fashion in this. It screams Sabrina Carpenter to me. I love her big furry jackets and I love how sometimes she will wear the same outfit but a different color. But I thought all these outfits were just absolutely stunning. And I really do like the amount of outfits that they put into this because clearly you can tell that this narrative spanned over a very long time. Clearly it took Sabrina Carpenter's character quite a while to finally realize that he was not as good as she thought he was. And I also like by the very end of the music video, uh, her and Barry were both wearing white. Now, I don't know if this was purposeful for symbolism, but I would like to think that it is because clearly she has had something very colorful on throughout this entire music video until the very last scene. And I think the reason why is because he has taken the color from her. Now let's go to performance and choreography. So unfortunately, there is no dancing that we ever get from Sabrina Carpenter. However, she does deliver quite an amazing performance. I love how she has this kind of <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> did I do that? <laughs> kind of like vibe to her. I love it. It's so cute and cuddly and kind of like reminds me of Sharpay Evans, but without the attitude. Or kind of like, you know, one of those toddler dolls that goes, oopsie, <laughs> like those kind of things. All right, guys, last but not least is going over my favorite moment of this entire music video. And I have to say the body in the trunk. I thought that was probably the most iconic part is when she opens it and just looks at him like, come on, Barry, in the car. You couldn't get rid of the body. <laughs> Regardless, I could watch that moment over and over again. All right, you guys, that is everything. Stay tuned for next week when I release my next reaction video. And of course, if you guys have any requests, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And of course, let me know what you guys thought of this music video. Did you like it? Did you not? What didn't you like? And what did you like? Please, I need to know. And of course, one last thing is if you guys haven't yet, be sure to like, comment, share this video with your friends, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye, you guys.